Hi everyone and welcome back to New Leaf Crafts. I have another sequin ornament tutorial for you today which is a very festive feeling design. This video is a little longer than usual due to explaining and showing you all of the steps needed but hopefully you'll agree it's worth it in the end as the finished ornament has now become one of my favourites. Let's get started. Firstly pin two strips of the gold ribbon around your ball to divide it into four equal sections. Using your circular template, draw three circles vertically inside one of the segments. Then draw two halves to the left and two halves to the right of the three full circles that you have just drawn. Continue the other halves of the circles into the neighbouring segments. In total, draw circles in three of the four segments. Using the basic sequin technique, fill in the circles with the gold sequins. A link to the basic sequin technique instructions is below in the description bar. Then fill the area around the circles with the wine sequins. Apply a line of gold sequins around the edge of the final segment. Mix together some gold glitter glue and gold glitter to create an opaque paint. Then using your paintbrush apply it evenly to cover the final segment. It took me two coats in total. After each coat which I applied I left it to dry overnight. Next cut a small length of the gold ribbon and thread it through the bell. Add a gold sequin to a gold pearl head pin, then pierce the ends of the ribbon holding the bell. Dip the end of the pin in glue and then apply to the bottom of the ornament. Next add to a gold pearl head pin a gold embellishment, a length of rose gold ribbon for the hanger and then a small pin ribbon bow in the rose gold ribbon also. Dip the end of the pin in glue and add to the top of the ornament. Finally, pierce the angel embellishment with a white pearl head pin. Dip the end of the pin in glue and apply to the centre of the painted glitter segment. And that's it, the ornament's complete. And here's a few pictures which I took afterwards. Let me know in the comments if you have any colour combinations which you'd like me to try for future ornaments. Please visit my blog for more design and craft ideas. And thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!